Thorn 64. And today, let's touch on this on the topic that's starting to get kind of heated on uh, on the television tube. The whole Russia and America situation is starting to heat up. <clears throat> There's been reports that Russia has surveillance of 9-11 occurring. Some say if they did show that, they would probably not show, there would probably not be any planes hitting the building that day. Of course, in my opinion, that's a whole nother video. But if Russia could release the surveillance footage from 9-11, 2000, uh, September 11, 2001, and if they could reveal no planes actually hit the building that day, do you realize how chaotic America would get pretty much overnight? You think a nuke would be bad? Yellowstone blowing up and you got 10 foot of ash in your front yard. What if all the sheep that have been babysitting and just walking, you know, the path the government wants them to walk and giving them all their damn money, all of a sudden those people wake up and say, the government screwed us? I mean, we pretty much know they screw us on a daily basis. But when I'm talking about those hardcore Americans, and I'm not saying y'all ain't or I'm not, but you know what I mean. The ones that are still screaming the land of the free and the home of the brave, when those people realize the government sabotaged their own country for their own profits. Shit. You think a nuke's going to be bad? Every city and every town and every state would go crazy. But you know what? They probably still wouldn't do nothing to our government. <laughs> Sometimes I just get, I get so dumbfounded I don't even know what to say. I don't see why we don't kick our government out of office now. I don't know who we would have as a leader, but anybody would be better than the bottom guy up in Washington. I say we have an election of the common man. Not the businessman, the common man. Whoever gets the most votes <clears throat> gives it a shot. Foreign relations? Who even gives a fuck? You know what I mean about foreign relations? The last thing that needs to be on our mind is what's going on somewhere else. Now, I hope I don't piss nobody off by that, but we can't take care of what's on our own, in our own backyard versus what's going across the pond. <clears throat> it's aggravating if you really think about it. It fires me up, <clears throat> and I'm trying to stay calm here. <laughs> I'm trying not to drop too many of them F-bombs. But let's just say, and as Russia reported last night, if we go try to arm the Syrian people, the pro-Syrian people, <clears throat> Russia's going to help Iran. I mean, it's, it's just a total, it's, it's a lose-lose situation. How about keep your ass up from over there? Let them boys go what we're going to do, and let's try to fix what we got over here. Now, Obama, on the other hand, <clears throat> yesterday sent a treaty into uh, the Congress and the Senate talking about, let's, you know, pretty much we're going to war. This is the same man that begged to get out of war six years ago. We're going to free the bastards at Guantanamo. same man trying to put feet back on the ground in Syria today. He's trying to bomb them back to kingdom come. And if you're going to bomb them to kingdom come, do it right. Don't don't pussyfoot around this time. 
sometimes I get a little radical as well. And that's just the way I am. If you're going to do something, by God, do it. If you're going to go over and blow shit up, by God, go over and blow shit up. I will gladly give you my tax dollars to go blow some shit up. <clears throat> but if you're just going to pussyfoot around, don't waste my time and don't waste the American people's dollars. My opinion. Do we need to be going to war over there? Probably not. But if Russia does have its surveillance footage, America is going to do whatever they're going to do, can do, possibly do, to help these bastards now. Oil prices are going to skyrocket. Gas is going to skyrocket. Then your phone rings and screws your whole train of thought up. <clears throat> but you got oil and gas. They're predicting, I've read, now who knows if it's true or not, I read it off the internet, that oil will see close to 200 by the end of by winter and that's yet to be seen but it wouldn't surprise me would it surprise you shouldn't okay russia we're gonna bump it up to about 170 to make you guys happy with some money in your pocket get your comedy back good just don't man please don't send that surveillance shit over here the gig would be up But I've ran it on long enough. Just bring a little awareness to what's going on. If you haven't looked, you need to look into it. It's looks like it's fixing to get hot. Russia's the last one we need to be screwing with. We don't need to be screwing with nobody. <clears throat> we can't take care of our own. The people we send over there to fight for us, we can't even take care of them when they come back. That'll tell you right there how shitty our country is. Our country imprisons more people than any other country combined. You're free, ain't you? <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm free to sit here and make videos. But if I say the wrong thing or text while I drive or not wear my seatbelt, I can be penalized for that. And I know we take it pretty smallly, but it just ain't right. And I'm getting off the subject. Anyway, keep your eyes on Russia, guys. This is this might turn into a fiasco before it's over with. J264, I'm out.